Hey Leo, this is Ascension Empress with your mid-month general reading. Okay, I was going to say general love. So whatever pops up, y'all. Welcome if you are new. May peace and blessings be upon you all. I love y'all so much. I hope everyone is doing well. And please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, y'all, we're going to get into it. We're going to see ooh, what messages. That Mars and Leo reading was nice. I needed it. I don't have to go back and write. Ooh, ooh. I feel like this supposed to be this supposed to be upright. Okay, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> I hope nobody's losing any money because there has been some thief energy popping up through that kip, the Kipper deck. It just popped up in who's reading? Cancer? Was it Cancer? I think it was Libra. I don't know. But it also popped up in Virgo's reading. So be mindful, y'all, because a lot of people are focused on this right now. Focus on, you know, the long term, not just the finances, but, you know, the wisdom the generations all of it okay the whole nine so we're gonna get into it and see what messages we have for you all please like share and subscribe and again may peace and blessings be upon y'all we're gonna see what messages we have going into the past look at that you know what i can dig it that's why is it oh it's upside down <laughs> i was like what is going on okay i was like hey everything is fine but either way it's just like you go from everything is fine in the past to what that ain't no pretending that's no pretending okay so somebody may have been faking it till they make it because even if this, this was up side down or reversed you know this is avoiding that pain avoiding what has already happened is what i'm getting okay so what messages do we and plus it's in the past like let's focus on this i hope nobody is focused on this past if anything it's probably your enemies like you remember where you came from yeah that's why i gained this that's why i earned this why that's why i deserve this okay because of all the betrayal the defamation the lies all of that oh don't get started y'all look at that yes you earned this this is yours okay i'm a, i'm a year in by your season if they don't understand they will okay and if you don't understand what is in store for you you will i get many people are about to see you they're about to see you leo they're about to see you shine and brighter than ever. Like, you already have this natural glow, this optimism, okay, and very confident. It may rub some people the wrong way, but hey, oh well. Let's see, what messages do we have underlying the reading? What messages do we have underlying the reading? Yes, see, see the possibilities that you have, the options that you have. I like this. I like this. Somebody's starting a family, too. Let's see, what messages do we have overlaying the reading for my... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Who? Who about to deal with this? Not you. <laughs> Not only are you walking away, you are emotionally detaching from it. Okay, from the BS. Anything that's going to get in the way of this Ten of Pentacles and your happiness, this new chapter of yours, like... You don't know exactly where you're going, but you know the sacrifice that you made and the soul work that you just did with them Eight of Cups is only going to benefit you because next is that Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment, okay? And that Nine of Cups is definitely a catalyst for this financial freedom because I feel like many of y'all are going to be attracting multiple streams, okay? Attracting people who are very well off in business or good with money or who want to support you invest in you like y'all i'm excited for you okay so i feel like so right now some of y'all are in the energy of detaching of you know realizing what is burdening you and holding you back emotionally and spiritually as well and it's this deception okay maybe even the in denial some of y'all may have been in denial but you're like nah, no more i'm not sure no okay so let's see what do we need to know see see yeah y'all taking this and you're taking control of your life of your happiness of your finances everything you like it you can't blame nobody you realize that let's see yeah i know that's right y'all you got the ace of cups oh my gosh i'm so excited for you this is like Scorpio energy. And I was talking about how they went MIA. Some of y'all may be MIA to protect your energy as well. But you you still being productive. You still at it. You are still being proactive. Okay. Many of y'all are focused on this. Like a greater type of love. Like not just 
in a partnership, but God's love. Okay, when you walk away from this Eight of Cups like this, you know there's something more. And God's like, oh yeah, there is. There is. So like y'all are happy to walk away from this pattern. I hear, I hear it's a pattern, it's a cycle, maybe a karmic cycle, some karmic person. All right, but I love the blessings here for y'all. I'm so excited for you. Okay, this feel like that part two from when I first started the channel. So let's see. Look at that, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Your ancestors are here. They're here. You got the Ten of Pentacles here, generational, and the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Did y'all have that reading when I said that they were co-signing this blessing? Because that's this. That is this. Wow, clarify, ooh, I was going to say clarify the seven of swords. Of course, more swords, more swords. Much like Aquarius energy, it's like they kept getting all these swords around negative devil-like energy, you know, the ones that keep you from attaining all of this abundance and God's promise. And whoever this liar is or, you know, is in denial and whatever, they are about to be facing their own karma, okay? But you went through this part already. You went through it. The tables are turning. They're turning. They are definitely turning. Let's see. What do we need to know about this two of wands and this magician energy? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like y'all got options and offers in many directions. Okay. Some of y'all may be working from home or from your phone. All right. Somebody's about to get an offer. You're like, ooh, you don't know which way to go. But you know you can make it happen regardless. Okay. I'm getting Libra energy because they were tapped in, y'all. Tapped all the way in. Okay. And they were at the nine of pentacles. Okay, so let's see. Clarify the sun card going into the future. What do we need to know about this sun card? Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's that nine of cups for you. And the high priestess and the king of swords. Okay, oh, wow. I'm trying not to cry like I did in that Sagittarius reading, but I'm just so happy for y'all. Because with this king of swords here, I feel like y'all have the clarity. You're very clear. Okay, I'm hearing clairvoyance as well. There was a blockage removed for somebody. Or I'm getting like your skill, your gift, your vision, your intuition has heightened since you have removed this blockage. You have healed and walked away from something. You detached from something. And that's your nine of cups. There's your wish fulfillment. Many of y'all are in this. Like The self-love energy is all over you. It's all over you. I'm also hearing that private party energy yeah, by NDRE. Okay, you may come off like this to those externally, but there is a lot of love, a lot of self-love, a lot of hope, a lot of faith, a lot of gratitude within you. Okay, and I, I like this King of Swords, though, because I feel like, you know, it's allowing you to protect your energy. Because people not, they're not looking at you as any type of joke or anything. If anything, they're running away, like spirit is protecting you. Spirit is protecting you. It's clear as day. What do we need to know about this King of Swords? Okay, I feel like it's some type of clarity. All right, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. All right, but everybody, ooh, yeah, look, you got the Page of Cups here. I was going to say, everybody's intuition was high. A lot of people's intuition was high, should I say, around that Gemini solar eclipse that just happened more about a week ago or so. All right, it wasn't even that. It was like, yeah, it wasn't even a week ago. But... There's this download, there's this vision that many won't understand, but that it doesn't matter. It's not for them to understand. That's why you, going forward, are choosing to detach from something. You have something on your mind. There's some type of insight that you're receiving, okay? And it has a lot to do with this Ten of Pentacles, okay? I feel, yes, yes. You've healed from this, everything is fine, pretending as if everything is fine. Many of y'all, this is true. It is fine. Things are great for you. Okay? It's not a lie. That's why the Seven of Swords is also going in the past. It's not a lie. What do we need to know about this Eight of Cups energy? What do we need to know about this Eight of Cups? Look at that. Look at that. Told you it's not a lie. You have faith over fear. Nine of Swords is not here anymore. This, this anxiety, lying to yourself about the possibilities that you have, what you can do with it, okay, what you can manifest. Nah, y'all have a lot of faith. Okay? Y'all have... Let go of that email, emotional baggage. You will be. Okay, yeah. And you're attracting the right energies, the right people towards you when you do. Okay, healthy relationships. People who have, you know, 
they they not off emotionally okay they can meet you when it comes to your faith when it comes to maybe even your perspective okay they at least value or are interested in learning um what it is that you see and how you see it is what i'm getting oh okay, yeah you got the page of the wands here oh wow yeah yeah there's a new beginning for you okay there's a child as well something that y'all are very passionate about about to start it's the beginning of something it's definitely the beginning of a new perspective for you okay what do you want oh my leos to be aware of one more card spirit what do you want my leos to be aware of king of cups funny how that popped out here with the queen of cups look yep see that's interesting how i wanted one more card so yeah i feel like there is going to be this reciprocity here there's definitely going to be this reciprocity because you got the two of cups here they got the two cups here okay matching each other's energy both i told you they've done the work they've both gone through this eight of cups energy they both ready new chapters it's going to be giving and receiving it's going to be very balanced okay i'm excited for y'all look see these Ooh, what ace of pentacles leo the door is open. I'm hearing the key. Like, there's a key for you. You have the key. Okay, especially if y'all are intuitive. This dream, this this insight, this clairvoyance that you have is the key. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of people's emotions as well. The connections. I'm hearing humanity. What do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? Your free spirit is going to free up a lot of other spirits. It's inspiring is what I'm hearing, okay? <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm telling you, you're offering a new perspective and a new opportunity to the chaos and the drama and the conflict. I'm hearing like the medium, the happy medium. Literally, you are happy. You are confident. You guys have a gift, okay? To help people get out of this 3D energy. To help them see beyond the limitations. Alright, yeah. See? Ten of Swords again. The limitations of their minds. These conditionings. These lower vibrational thoughts and patterns. That will have you fighting battles that just aren't worth it. Fighting with people who really, you know, we supposed to be. We were supposed to then cut ourselves from. Alright? We were supposed to go ahead and level up. Yeah death card okay block it protect your energy i'm so excited for y'all i'm so excited there's a transformation clearly okay somebody tried to defame you tenfold is what i'm getting blessings tenfold it's somebody whoever whoever is dealing with all the swords energy okay and especially if it's coming from an external source like someone is really trying to keep you from healing it's already happening okay it's already happening some of y'all may have aquarius in your chart and it's natural for you to just go ahead and detach or maybe the season there's some aspect in your chart that you know especially with this retrograde but this is karma this is a karmic time especially with the saturn retrograde got all these stories here that have only pushed you forward towards transformation okay so whatever conflict, whatever interference, whatever, you know, challenge or hurdle somebody tried to cause, like, <laughs> they just caused transformation, okay? They just caused you to move on fast and forward into success, yeah. Okay, now I feel like somebody else is going to have to be a little bit delayed because they, they wanted to delay your progress, okay? And they're going to have to look at this from a different perspective. Many of y'all, you took heed. You learned a lot of lessons. You gained a lot of perspective while you were being held up by somebody else's so-called doing. Okay, but it didn't work. Okay, God have definitely allowed it so that you could gain the wisdom. So it's just like the more they try to stop you, the more you grow. Yeah, and your money too. All right? Somebody may have been trying to mess with your money with the two of pentacles. Probably tried to have you juggling. But I feel like y'all are really good at multitasking. All right? What else do you want my Leos to be aware of? What else? Ooh, yeah. Wow, you got the Two of Cups here and the Lover's Card. These partnerships are going to be nice. I'm hearing business partnerships. Okay. Any other messages for my Leos? Any other messages? 
Ooh, yeah. Okay, some of some of y'all are dealing with the Libra. Okay, and if y'all are partnered with the Libra in business, whatever, I'm like, it's gonna be great. I'm hearing it's gonna be great for somebody. Okay, especially if y'all are in this two of cups energy, you know, like I just love how this energy is going into the past. And there's nothing but possibilities and healing and room, like creating space, spiritual space, emotional space, financial space. Like, what? Y'all are the empress. Very well-rounded. I can't remember what other sign got that energy. Look, yeah. There you are because y'all have the discipline. You have the strength. This is you. You do this. You do this, Leo. And this Mars and Leo for you is it's for you. It's definitely for you. See? <laughs> You got the moon card. This look these eclipses. I'm hearing this Gemini solar eclipse that happened recently. Wow. It may have been a test of your strength, a test of your integrity or somebody else's integrity. Okay, it may have caused some conflict or there were some secrets. All right, something's just not quite clear with this lover's card. That's why you know you, there is a transformation happening here, and you're gonna step into this two of cups. Okay, that's a whole different type of energy. Somebody who is really going to reciprocate with you, not just sexually or on this 3D level, but, you know, they tapped into that Eight of Cups. Okay? What is the overall message for my Leos? Overall message. Wow. Know that they're going to be watching and regret. That's straightforward. Straightforward. Whoever it is. Mm. Also, be mindful. A plane of victim. I don't feel like I have to tell y'all that. Maybe I'm talking to a cross watcher. I just don't feel like I have to tell y'all that. With the strength card and all of this energy y'all got going on, no. No. Y'all not playing victim or she wouldn't have this. This would be going forward. They wouldn't be trying to compete with you or stunt your growth if you were already playing victim, if you were already soaking. Okay, so take it as a compliment, y'all. Take it as a compliment. Somebody also tired. They burnt out. They tried so hard to hold you back. Now they burnt out. Like, dang. How Leo so they on strong? They still standing? Yes, you're still standing. Okay, so that is your reading, you all. Thank you again so much for your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. I am doing a special at the end of the week starting Thursday the 17th. So, yeah, that is the Thursday. Okay, so you can wait till then. But, yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. I love you all. Take care. Bye.